All right, Harf gave me a new toy to play with. Uh, I'm still kind of learning how it works here. It's a gimbal. Hopefully you guys can see it's smoother now. Harf, I've been tasked with speaking more about the expansion in our company. We're hiring a lot right now, uh, as you can probably tell by the title of this video. A couple of roles we're hiring for, and I just wanted to talk a little bit more about them. Big sort of senior roles we're hiring for, director of gaming and talent. So this is a role to help define our competitive teams, to help define our streamers that we're gonna be picking up in the future, and to basically lead our talent department. And talent for an esports team is not just players, but uh, also streamers, content creators, other people you may work with, uh, and stuff like that. We also are hiring a director of content. This is the role to help define this content and probably to help find a camera operator that knows how to use a gimbal because I just went the wrong way. Those are sort of the two director level roles. The director of content role is obviously kind of a memeing role. Uh, very, very community driven, community related content is really important to us. It's the end of the day. I'm gonna drive home. I'm back inside. We're also hiring sort of a higher up executive to work alongside me, basically a COO or a president. Um, to really help with scaling the business. I have a lot of experience in esports and I'm extremely knowledgeable in that space, but um, I'm not nearly as experienced in sort of building a company. You know, I have worked before in, in very early stage startups. Uh, BTS was a very young company when I joined and it was very different when I left. You know, we're really looking to help bring someone on board that can sort of elevate our processes and, and elevate the way we do things to make it more consistent, more repeatable. We just reopened applications for videographer, pretty self-explanatory. We need people to follow our staff around. We need people to follow our teams around on a sort of week to week, day to day, month to month, uh, even potentially live in a content house or a team house. We also need people to help publicize that content more. So we're also hiring a growth marketing associate right now. That's really someone who has a lot of experience and should be more well-versed in sort of paid advertisements on social media. You're gonna be the person who's helping to grow our social channels and helping to grow our audience base for stuff like clothing and merchandise. We're also reopening our video editor position and again, a lot of this stuff comes down to future planning. Right now, a lot of the stuff we're doing uh, we can get by with the sort of small lean team we have, but when you look even two months forward about what we want to do in the fall and especially what we want to do in 2020, we need a lot more staff and we need a lot more resources to make sure that the level of of product that we want to put out is there and the quality doesn't falter because people are kind of overworked. So to kind of go through the jobs again, director of gaming and talent. That means you like games, you understand the competitive ecosystem of esports. Uh, hopefully you've worked at like a profit and loss level before, either at a tournament organizer, at another team. You have a good understanding of the esports ecosystem. That's, that's extremely crucial. You need to be able to evaluate new game opportunities, potential profit and loss in a new game opportunity. So really, the more knowledge you have in the industry, I think the better for a position like that. Director of content doesn't necessarily need to be someone from deep into esports, but I think having a deep level of esports knowledge will be super beneficial to that role. I think it will make the content connect with the audience better. Growth marketing, again, a fairly junior role, willing to do some teaching and training there, uh, but a role to help expand our social media, videographer, video editor, both pretty self-explanatory. If you wanna come join our team here in Atlanta, uh, I think we're building a pretty incredible team uh, made up of people who are very experienced in esports and kind of have operated in it before. Uh, and we're kind of looking to add some people that are a little bit more from the business side of things to help scale the business better and more efficiently and help us accomplish our goals faster. If you guys are interested, please apply. Links down here or around here or Links are gonna be, they're gonna be obvious. That is gonna make it very clear. We wanna make sure you guys know where to apply. If you have any questions, you can also reach out to us, uh, info at chaos.ec, and uh, you can also, I say this at great personal risk, always message me. Uh, I cannot guarantee that I'm gonna answer all of your messages, but I do try to take a look through my Twitter and Twitter requests every couple days, and if there's anything uh, easy for me to follow up on, I'm always happy to do so and happy to answer any questions. What the hell are you doing in here? I've quarantined myself, forgot my laptop, so working on the extra PC here in the office. My understanding is that there's a lot of new plants in this office. We have a handful, yes, and so, our, our family is growing. So but... you're like a botanist, right? This is like your second profession. Okay, fun fact, I'm actually a certified junior master gardener in the state of South Carolina. I got like a little pin. This is a snake plant. This little sucker is on brand, yes. 
our little snake plant. And they can even go like three, they told me they can go like three months without being watered. So easy, won't die. Those will probably die in about three months is what you're saying. No, it's not going to die. I'm not gonna let any plants die here. These are the Calatheas and look how cute they are. I think it's just this one, but this one might too, but at night it closes. And then this is also a Calathea. And it's got a nice little like moss on top. Very cute. Big fan of Calatheas. We're just gonna have a bunch of Calatheas in the office. And then there's one more Calathea in Greg's office that I just got, which you can see through the window. He needed a plant to dump his water into. How long is that plant gonna live in Greg's office? I'm gonna keep a very close eye on it. <laughs> They're the office children now, and we are going to take very good care of them. I'm gonna make a plant guide, so if I die, you guys will know how to take care of them. So, Sean. What's up? One year since the rebrand, rumor has it, you uh, have a, an underling, a, a helper now? Yes, we hired a graphic designer. This is Richard. Hey. So Richard is a, a really great graphic designer. Uh, before I was doing a lot of the graphic design myself and I'm not really a designer by trade, so this will free me up to do more planning, uh, more administrative stuff, um, and really cast the vision rather than try and be doing everything myself. Richard is really great with brand and so I think having him play with the colors a little more and make the brand more flexible and more expressive is going to be really exciting. Anything, uh, any fun facts, anything interesting about Richard you want to share? Um, people have told me he's pretty tall, but you know, I I'm pretty, we're pretty close in height, I think. Yeah, I don't see it. I don't really see it. So let's say he was taller as like his boss or whatever. Does that feel weird for you? Can yeah, I, like a... I think it would be kind of emasculating. I don't know how well I would do with like, you know, disciplining him or, you know, giving him good criticism and feedback if he was like, if he was like a good foot taller than me, that would be, that would be difficult, I think. But that's definitely not the case. No, it's definitely not the case. Okay. Cool. Anything else? Um, phase up. Okay, bye. <laughs> And, and elevate the way we do things to make it more consistent, more repeatable, um, and take some of the sort of administrative load off of my uh, my hat or my feeder. That's not how you say that. I expect the editor to make fun of me right there. Um, but you know, to take a little bit of the load off my plate, I think that's what we were looking for.